Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we're getting we're picking up right where we left off, which is Rio's in trouble, do we help? Of course. It's risky, but yeah. I mean I think either one's good. Takama, stop! Oh, come on. Isn't there anything we can do? No, not a thing. It's just how it works. But no. Rio, what's wrong with you? Get out of there. Rio, you need to run. Rio, why? Why won't you run? Maybe Kunmon will save him. Hmm. I think he's saying something. <laughs> I finally got to see you again, Mommy. And now we'll always be together. Please don't leave me again. Oh, mommy's gone. She immediately left. What? Oh, fuck. Was that my fault? The fog. It took him. Huh? What? That's... that's horrible. No way. I can't believe this. No. No. Oh, there's Kunmon. I didn't see him there next to Haru. Somehow, in a way that I don't fully understand, I can tell that Kunmon is sad. Just like everyone else. Not Kunmon, too. Is disappearing. It can't be. Kunmon's disappearing? Well, I'm glad I didn't use Kunmon much. He had some items, though. Can I get those back? Wait, hold on. Ryo has to still be there, right? No. What, Mayuki? Why is she shaking her head like that? Is she telling me I should give up? Takuma. Haru. What happened to Ryo was he gave up on himself. So this world consumed him. Even after the fog lifted and the shadow vanished, there was still no sign of Ryo. I'm not really sure what Haru meant by what he told me. But I do know one thing for certain. Ryo is dead. Is that my fault? I kind of avoided this. After all that, Shuji eventually got us to calm down. We returned to the school. Leave it to Shuji to step up in a situation like that, get us all back safely. Kaito was next to recover. He was all ready to go to the amusement park and find Miu. Oh yeah, that's right, we saw an amusement park. But the rest of us managed to convince him to come back to the school instead. Shuji made the case that we could search more effectively after we'd regrouped. Yeah, but that's... Now we have to do that same trip again. And after seeing what happened to Ryo, even Kaito must have realized the need for caution. Everyone else was pretty upset and shaken from having witnessed Ryo's death. It was dark by the time we got back. We were exhausted. Nobody bothered with dinner. The others mostly seemed to collapse into the sleep. Though I found that impossible. My mind kept coming back to the same thought. Surely there must have been something more I could have done. Maybe if we'd all worked together, or if I'd been more determined, or... When Rio was in trouble, if only we had... I mean, none of these. 
Rio gave up, so I don't think there's anything we could have done. It's no use. I can't think of anything. For one thing, that fog is still a complete mystery. Not to mention the shadow. More importantly, deep down, somehow I knew there was nothing I could do. It's starting to get cold. If I stay like this, I'll probably end up getting sick. Even if I can't sleep, maybe I should just lie down for a while. Takuma? Right? You seem kind of out of it. I've been thinking about Rio. Okay. It must have been something we could have done to save him. Maybe if we started earlier. I knew when he couldn't open up to Kunmon, when he got so scared of Dokugumon. How he acted in that classroom, on the trail, or even just talking with him, it was clear. I knew he was struggling, but I didn't help him. Yeah, and I can only think about that time where I teased him about being afraid now. I just let him suffer. What do you think might have changed things, Takuma? We talked more? I wish I'd talked with him more. If we'd been able to talk things out, even if he just wanted to whine or complain, I'm sure things would have ended differently. But it's not like I've got all the answers. Who knows if what I did was right, or what I should have done differently. Not me, that's for sure. Akuma, I can tell that you're hurting. You're right, Akuma. I hurt so much. And, and what's worse is that even after losing Ryo, there's no clear way out of this. Arukinemon is still after us. Maybe that amusement park is crawling with enemies. Plus, if we have been transported to some other world, is there even a way back? I don't know. I just don't know. What are we even supposed to do? Takuma. Takuma, listen, I may not know much, but I do know one thing, very important thing. And that if you try, Takuma, you can do anything. Whether you team up with the others or just blindly press on, in the end, you'll succeed. <laughs> Where's this coming from? I'm not that special. But you are Takuma. I know it. And I believe in you. Agumon. Thanks. That actually makes me feel better. Maybe now I'll be able to get some sleep. Really? Then I'm glad. Good night, Agumon. Good night, Takuma. Alright. Man, tomorrow's gonna be a bummer. Two dead people and... What, this is our second night? But we've made it to part four. Alright, I recognize... or I don't immediately recognize the other one. I did find the human children, but you see, my servants all proved so incompetent. You allowed them to escape. Clearly you lack sufficient devotion to our master. No, it wasn't my fault. I would never, never. Next time I'll get them for sure. Capture all those human children. Offer them up to our master without fail. 
If the altar was prepared, did you not perform a sacrifice? Have you not only let the children escape, but also failed to provide an offering? Oh, well, actually, that wasn't me. Someone must have beaten me to the punch. Yet you did not confirm who this was, or if they indeed they made the sacrifice? I did not, but several children still remain. Next time, they won't be so lucky. You're not up to this task on your own. You could always have Mega Sidramon help you. No doubt he would be similarly motivated to prove his devotion to our master. Cool. Manzeman. First, uh, let me try. He would have the amusement park. No, I assure you, I'm quite up to the task. I won't be needing any help from Manzeman or Mega Seedramon. Those children will not escape me a second time, you'll see. Bah! Out of my way. Dare me, how crass. Oh! Tell me, Gurumon. What brings an outsider like yourself to speak with us? I heard those traitors who got strung by teaming up with the humans have turned on us. Well, they, if they are traitors, they probably did turn on you. His words are very much synonyms. Oh, and what of it? Haha, <laughs> just what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna crush them all. Hm. As if brute force will help you. Accomplish anything. You're such an idiot. What are you still up to your old tricks? Refusing to fight your own battles? Ha! Spoken like a true simpleton. Only a fool would insist on fighting their own battles. Bah! You make me sick, every last one of you. Enough of this. Hey, she started it. This gets us nowhere. Why would it freeze now? Man, it is not even coming back. Okay, there. I see no need for cooperation. Do as you wish. Heh. As if I'd ever do anything else. So long. Well, what a surprise. He shows up, picks a fight, and leaves. Are you sure we can trust him? Your skills are undeniable. He holds a grudge against human children. That's clear. More importantly, Heed my words of Rukinemon. Our master will not tolerate any more failure. I am well aware of that. Who do you take me for? So long as you understand, there will be no more second chances. Remember, it's not just Monzemon and Megasidramon here. There are countless others who could take your place. You need help, just ask. Gah! So infuriating. How could those little brats do this to me? <laughs> well, alright then. They can just wait and see. Alright, I guess we're gonna wait and see. Stop! No, not that way. Rio, come back! Rio, Rio! Yeah. <laughs> Foo. It was just a dream. Rio's dead in real life, not my dream. I woke up from a nightmare this morning, drenched in sweat. My hands are shaking, still shaking. It's not surprising, I had a lot on my mind last night, and sleep did not come easy. Not after watching Ryo die right in front of me, us yesterday. But beyond the terror of watching someone die for the first time, 
Seeing that strange tentacle reach out and grab him was just awful. Just thinking back on it now sends a shiver down my spine. But I shouldn't let myself dwell on it. Not after how Agumon cheered me up last night. Wait, where is Agumon? And everyone else for that matter. I mean, I guess eating breakfast. Nobody else is here. I'm the last one up. Then all the more reason to get moving. I need to figure out what could comes next. It's not too late, so maybe the others are still in the cafeteria. I'd better go see. Well, I'd hope they wouldn't go on an adventure and leave someone behind. Especially after someone just dies. Oh, good morning, Kaito. Drakemon. <laughs> Finally up, are you? Wow, he seems pretty mad. Has he been waiting for me to wake up this whole time? Sorry, I woke up so late. I had a, had a hard time getting to sleep. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure you were exhausted. So, where's everybody else? How should I know? You're the only one who's shown up. Wait, really? I thought for sure they'd have all been here by now. Where is everybody? All over the place, apparently. I'm looking pretty upset. They did see that friend of yours get taken into the fog right in front of them. I'm sure that's bothering all of them as much as it is you. That's a good point. Ryu's death didn't just come as a shock to me. Yeah, as it shouldn't. It has to be on everyone's mind. They'll need to process what happened. We should probably give them some time. But we don't have ta any time to give. We need to get out of here and save Miu. True, but with that strange fog, everyone's nervous. All the more reason we should move fast. Mew is in trouble. And it's not just the fog. There are monsters after her. That's right. Harukinamon, that spider monster, said something about a sacrifice. She was really strong too. But there are lots of other things like her out there. Damn it. This is why I wanted to find Miu yesterday. I should never let you talk me out of it. Well, you shouldn't have walked 20 feet away from her and lost her. No, I never should have taken my eyes off her. In the yeah, see, this is your fault, Kaito. Kaito, calm down. Yes, listen to Takuma. Shut up! Don't you tell me to calm down. My sister's life is on the line. The last person I talked to that I liked as much as Kaito just got killed, so Kaito's not in a great spot. Hey, it's not like I forgot, but you're getting mad isn't going to help anything. No, you know what's going to help? Arguing while waiting for help that's not coming. I'm going to go look for Miu on my own. Kaito, wait. It's too dangerous for you to go by yourself. We all need to stick together. I agree. I don't want you putting yourself in danger. Drakemon. Alright, fine. That's a relief. We managed to get... Got through to him for once. But I'm only waiting around until noon. After that, I'm going. What? I'll wait here till noon. Then I'm looking for Miu. No matter what anyone says. And I'll go alone if I have to. Man, you can be such an idiot sometimes. You know I'll be with you if it comes to that. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? He's calling you an idiot, idiot. You, obviously. Who else would I be talking about? You've probably got some stupid idea about not putting anyone else in danger, don't you? Quit trying to do everything by yourself. What do you think I'm here for? You really feel that way? Alright. Sorry about that. Drakmon seems genuinely concerned for Kaito. And Kaito does actually seem to listen to Drakmon in his own way. 
Might not look like it, but I think those two are actually pretty close. So Takuma, I guess this means you better round everyone up. I'll need to keep an eye on Kaito to make sure he doesn't take off early. Got it. I'll go get the others. Let's see if, if I've got until noon. Oh no, that's hardly any time. I need to get everyone here quick. Alright, is this a time? Free action, yep. So we'll have a limited amount of time to find everyone and get them here. Okay, so we have 11. I just want to see. Okay, so I can't go the whole way to the one place. What is my... Huh. So Kunmon is no longer here. But we got Drachmon. Oh, and they've leveled past Betamon. That's good. Ooh, that's strong. Saint Knuckles. Deals 200 damage, costs 50, deals light damage, and absorb HP. Alright, you have to get in close, which is perfect for Biomon. Eat all these Agumon. All right. Ah. I have to find whatever this is. Whatever this floppy disk is. Any cool new? Ooh, lowers enemy speed. There's a stamina crystal. Let's see. Gill. Ooh, a better potency crystal. I don't know if I'm. Maybe I can give uh, Lotmon a better item. I guess stamina. I can have like a pot. Oh, I meant to give him. Let him keep its guard break. Let him do a guard charge. I think that's more. <sighs> yeah, just because. He's not at the same level as everyone else. So, um, oh, cool, Rio's still here. 17 affinity is not bad. I mean, it's not 30, but. Uh, anything. Do I have any other free monsters that would be worth evolving? So, I mean, I could get a Kakumon. I have to wait and see if there's anything that I want. Alright, so we need to figure out who to talk to. Agumon's in the corridor. Takuma, last night was awful, wasn't it? Yeah. First the professor, and now Ryo. We faced lots of dangers since we came to this world, but for people to actually die, I'm reminded once again how much more dangerous this place is than I thought. How are we supposed to get out of here? How are we supposed to survive? Takuma, are you all right? What? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't get so down after how you cheered me up last night. That's okay. I'm still a little surprised myself. Surprised about what? About Rio. I still can't believe what happened to that human child. If that had happened to you, Takuma, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, same here. After all, it wasn't just Rio who disappeared. Kunmon went with him. I feel bad for Kunmon, too. Rio never seemed to understand what Kunmon was thinking. 
But I know Kunmon was concerned for Ryo. Why did it have to end like that? Now Kunmon doesn't even have Ryo. Human children are special to Agumon and the others somehow, right? But even so, the thought of disappearing must be terrifying, even to them. It makes sense that Agumon would be upset by what happened to Ryo and Kunmon. Yeah, I'd be upset too. Well, I'm not going to abandon you, Agumon. Ah, Takuma! What a nice thing to say. Looks like this time it was your turn to cheer me up. Thanks to you, I feel a lot better. Well, I'm glad I could at least cheer you up. Pretty sure everyone else is still upset. Then I'll just have to fix that. Oh, how? Well, I'm not sure. Is there anything you think I could do? What might Agumon be able to do to cheer people up? Maybe if he went and talked with everybody, like we're doing right now? That might help make things easier to deal with. Then again, I'm sure they're all in pain. Maybe they'd prefer to be left alone. I'm not sure. Um, nope. Talk with people. I can't give them space. Let them decide if they want sp Let them tell you they want space. You know, Agumon, you're a surprisingly good listener. Maybe you could talk to everyone. Oh, yeah? But I think they've probably all had a conversation like we just did already. Minoru has Falcomon. Aoi has Lapramon. And the same goes for everybody else. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Although, I am a little worried about Chuji and Lapmon. Hey, how about this? Why not do something for the others you'd like them to do for you? Oh, good thinking. That gives me an idea. I should go look around that one spot. Hmm? Sounds like he's muttering to himself about something. Be right back, Takuma. Wait, where are you going? Don't worry about it. Bye! I assume he's going to get food. But, well, if you say so, but be back in the cafeteria by noon, okay? Otherwise, Kaito might go off looking for Miu on his own. Got it! I hope none of this counted as an action, because I didn't choose all of that to happen. Guess Agumon isn't here. You are correct. But we are here for the for the potentially hidden things. Alright, crisp apple. Sincerity Melon. Alright, nothing else there. Okay, so going here cost a move. I guess Agumon isn't here. Are you looking for Agumon? Because, I mean, I think he's in the woods. Alright, nothing in there. Hmm. I don't... I guess I should finish Agumon's... Get his thing to completion. This one's no good. What about this one? Oh, over there. Yes, I think that could be it. I bet Takuma and the others will love this. Now I think I'll head a little farther out. wonder if we'll get in a fight, just Agumon and I. Hmm, no sign of Agumon here. Where could he have wandered off to? It's behind tree. Ooh, power pineapple. That looks. I was gonna say that looks painful to eat, but so does a regular pineapple. Wait, is he in the forest area? Huh. I 
hate. It's not that I hate spending all of my moves following Agumon. Ha <laughs> ha! That's perfect. Takuma and the others are sure to love this. Am I getting anything out of this? I might as well look around a bit more while I'm out here. I'm gonna get loads of good stuff. Because Agumon, I'm not really helping. Huh, that's weird. I thought I heard Agumon. Maybe I just imagined it. Where could that little guy have gone? I, I really hope I'm not wasting all my moves following Agumon around. Man, I'm sure I've come a long way looking for Agumon. I doubt he'd have gone much further than this. Hmm, I think I hear something. <laughs> That's him. What's he doing humming to himself out here? Hey, Agumon. Wah! Oh, Takuma. It's just you. You startled me. <laughs> Sorry. But what are you doing out here? Ta-da! Take a look at this. Ooh, choice ribs. Well, I was thinking of what might cheer up people up. And this is all the stuff I found. Wait, is that why you were running off? That's right. Remember what you told me? You said to cheer people up. I should do something for them I'd like done for me. So I've been collecting stuff I thought would help make them feel better. Oh, sounds like in his own way Agumon was being really thoughtful. Thanks Agumon, I'm sure everyone will love what you found. I hope so, that made me really happy. Alright. Oh god, it's a shadow. I worry that running... I don't know if that'll actually make me leave or whatever, but... Oh, it's a Fangmon. Which one do I like better? Dragmon, he'll probably do something cool eventually. Alright. your own mobility because you have to get to that chest I think I think his attack has its range right so okay perfect See if Agumon can one shot this guy. Oh, not quite. Halfway. If he would have stat boosted himself. Uh, oh, I can't. I forget that Birdramon's not a. one of the people that I can use my talk abilities for. up and end him. Victory! Alright. Oh, 
tons of level ups. I'd love to see it. Alright. Now. What else is there in here? Banana? Ooh. The tail of the mural. Alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna kinda click through this. Wow. So you guys can pause it if you want to read it. Nothing else to see here. Please tell me I can. All right, I can leave the forest. I see Aoi and Saki. Should I call out to them? No, just keep on walking. That usually works out well. <laughs> Sniff, sob. I couldn't stop them. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done. But I could tell. I knew there was something wrong with Ryo. Oh, why couldn't I help him? Sounds like Aoi is blaming herself for this. Yeah, you know how seriously she takes things? She regrets not doing more. She's been crying all morning. It's been hard to watch. She feels guilty about what happened to Ryo. Probably because she's so responsible. I think Labramon's probably right that there was nothing she could have done. But I can also understand how Aoi f could have feel regret at not be being able to do more. Or should I say it was inevitable? I mean, I don't think this is quite the right. What's done is done is not that great of an option either. It was inevitable. I don't know if any of these are good. I guess what's done is done. Howie, oh, I can understand why you'd feel regretful about not having done more. But at this point, what's done is done. It's too late to change anything. Oh, I, I. Takama, why would you say that? Because we need to focus on what we're going to do now, not what we should have done then. Yes, you're right, Takama, but. Sob, whimper, sniff. Oh no, I think that came out a little too harsh. Oh no. No, I'm sorry, Aoi. Here, I, I'll fix it. I promise. With my magical time travel. Don't cry extra because of me. Now, what's less harsh than what's done is done? We're all responsible, or? Yes, we're all responsible, not just you. It wasn't just you, are we? We all could have done more to help support Ryo. I mean, I couldn't do anything either. Takuma, yeah, I think maybe you're right. After all, even I didn't realize Ryo was that far gone. So there's no reason for you to take all the blame, Aoi. Takuma, Saki, I, I, so, Aoi, please, stop crying like that. It's just you're both being so thoughtful, while I, I've only been thinking about myself, sob. Please, Aoi, cheer up. I'm the worst, so. What should I do? I don't know how to comfort her. And if I can't get everyone to the cafeteria soon, Kaito could go off on his, oh yeah, shit. Man, I don't know what to do. Some good you are at making people feel better. 
Oh, he still won't stop crying. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't think of the right thing to say. Well, I doubt there's anything you could say that'd get through to her right now. Why makes you say that? Because I don't think I'm always looking for someone to say the right thing. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Is this a girl thing? Is Saki speaking from her own experience? Either way, Saki sure does show a lot of consideration for someone so free-spirited. I mean, that... Girls aren't just people. Have you had it rough? Have you had it rough, or you're so considerate? I didn't think you cared what other people thought, but you sure pay close attention. You think so? I feel like this is pretty normal. I don't know. Look at how you're thinking of Aoi, even after everything that happened. Uh, yeah, he's right. Maybe it's just when I see someone who's sad, I also realize I need to stay calm. If you say so. Anyway, I'll stay here with Aoi. Let me handle this. My Vermont and I will be here too. Oh, okay. It's alright, Aoi. Dry those tears. Saki, I... It wasn't your fault, Aoi. You didn't do anything wrong. But... There was nothing anyone could have done back there. I wanted to help too. We all did. It's nice that the girls can comfort each other like this. I'm really glad Saki is here right now. Oh, I can talk to... Saki. I guess I probably should. One night just isn't enough to put something like that behind you, is it? Yeah, I'm still pretty upset about the whole thing, too. We all watched as one of us disappeared. The shock of that moment was unbelievable. Oh, that was... Fun. Ryo was a pretty twisted guy. He was always really grumpy, insulting, and uncooperative. But that doesn't make it okay that he's gone. Besides, I knew what his real problem was. He never knew how to express himself. I guess that side of him kind of reminded me of myself. That's why I stuck by him. I never understood why Saki, who's so cheerful and outgoing, was always with Ryo. But I think I get it now. She must have felt like they were two sides of the same coin. Not that I could ever see it. He was always so lonely. That's why he acted the way he did. That's right! People can be like that, can't they? You could see it too, Florimon? Nope, not at all. What? But I know that you're really nice, Saki. I know that better than anyone. Nice, huh? Is that what you think too, Takuma? Takuma? Saki seems nice enough to me, but she can be pretty blunt sometimes. Besides, I feel like I still don't know her all that well. I mean, I guess she's nice. Yeah, I'm sure you're nice enough. Of uh, you know that Saki's very nice. Yeah, sure, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than that. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure how best to say it. Like, you clearly understand Ryo really well. It's like you said before. You may not come out and say it, but you care about people. Huh. So that's how you feel about me. Oh, I'm kind of happy about that. Thanks, Takuma. What? Oh, sh sure. Oh, Takuma. Your face is turning red. You feeling shy? Maybe a little nervous? No. Why would I be nervous? You know, I think I... Talking with you helped me feel a little better. Thanks, Takuma. Because I'm so cool. Probably not. All right, now how do I leave here? I forgot the map. All right, so I've talked to you two. I talked to that nerd kid. Oh yeah, or Rio. Oh, I don't, or not Rio. Can't remember your name. I can't remember your name either. So no. Su Shuji. I don't like that face you're making.
Come on, give me something good. Ugh. It's good, it's just disgusting also. Alright, Shuji. Urgh, this is all my fault. If only I'd been able to keep it together. Shuji. What? Oh, Takuma. Sorry. I was just talking to myself. No, I feel like I should be the one to apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. How are you doing? Shuji, you look like you're in so much pain all the time. I'm worried about you. Shut up! What do you know? Not only was I thrown into some strange new world, I watched someone die in front of me. Twice. I'm sorry, I only meant... This is exactly the kind of thing the professor trusted me to keep from happening. If I'd had my act together, Ryo would still be here. I've completely failed the professor. Shuji, I can see why you'd feel that way, but you shouldn't blame yourself. What happened to the two of them wasn't your fault. No, it is my fault. I'm the oldest, the one who's supposed to be the leader. It was my job to keep everyone safe. How am I supposed to apologize to Ryo's parents? He really feels like he's responsible for what happened. But it's not like he's solely to blame for it. None of it was his fault. Well, then he's not solely to... to something, too. But... I feel like no need to apologize probably isn't the right move. Okay, I think these are just their colored options. So I don't think they play into my relationship with him. I'm not sure what you should say, but I'll be there to apologize with you. After all, when it comes to what happened with Rio, I'm at least as responsible as you were. Thanks, but you shouldn't have to feel that way. I really am a terrible leader, aren't I? No, you're not. You're doing the best you can, and I think that's what counts. Well, who asked you? <laughs> Shuji, stop being so mean to Lotmon. Anyway, sorry, but would you mind giving me a little more time on my own? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I could use some time to think. Alright. Shuji... Shuji's not taking this well, and his own strong sense of responsibility isn't helping. Maybe it's best if I just leave him alone for a while. We did that with Ryo, and that did not go well. Alright. Um, so it's either talk... Oh, wait. Why... Why are you in the corridor alone? There's Labramon. I should talk to her. Hey, Labramon. What are you doing all by yourself? Yeah, I'm surprised. Aoi isn't here with you. Sometimes we like to do things on our own, too. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I prefer to stay with Takuma. You go off on your own sometimes, too, Agumon. Yeah, well, it's complicated. Actually, not really. Anyway, were you looking for Aoi, or did you want to talk with me? Actually, I'm trying to get everyone together. Kaito's upset that nobody's shown up in the cafeteria. He says if people aren't there by noon, he'll look for Mew on his own. And he seems pretty anxious about it. Oh, okay, got it. I'll be sure to be in the cafeteria by noon. See you then! That's right, I've forgotten why we're talking to all these people. We have to recruit them to the cafeteria. So I don't need to talk to Kaito. But I do need to talk to everybody else who I want showing up. I haven't even told that to Shuji. Is that Minoru? Maybe I should talk to him. Uh, Alright. Minoru. Hey. Oh, uh, hey Takuma. What's up? Going around checking in on people since nobody came to the cafeteria this morning. Kaito's probably worked up. He's talking about going to look for Miu on his own. I see. Then it sounds like this is no time for us to remain idle. Yeah, Kaito can get pretty fixated on things, can't he? 
especially when they involved his sister. Yeah, who'd have thought a tough guy like him would have such a soft spot for his sister? Well, this is a nice surprise. Seems like Minoru is holding up better than I thought. By the way, Takuma, what sort of comics do you like? Okay, Minoru's just gonna ignore the death. What? Where's this coming from? I do not believe now is an appropriate time for such conversations. Oh, come on, relax. Besides, there's some things I want to ask because of this situation. I don't really get why he's asking me this, but let me see. I'm not exactly big into comics. Mostly just your typical hero stuff. I do enjoy the occasional romantic comedy, too, but I bet Minoru would tease me about that. Uh, what should I tell him? The comics you like? We, we the same. Mm, same comics. So these options aren't changing colors. So, um, I'm guessing what, these might impact our affinity. So I guess, why are you asking? So why is it you're asking? Is there some special meaning? No, not really. It's just things have been so crazy since we got here. I wanted a normal conversation. You are one happy-go-lucky guy, aren't you, Minoru? Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's one of my strong points. So I've got some favorites. I've been reading forever. I can never wait for the next issue. Man, I can't wait to find out what happens next. Hmm? Is it just me or does Minoru seem like he's acting a little forced? Anyway, the hero is just the coolest, like, of all the heroes I... No, it's not even close. When I read it, I think about how I want to be like that. I'm not even joking. Minoru, please. Oh, right. You don't really know what we're talking about, do you, Falcomon? Sorry. Man, if only there were comics in this world, too. Ain't that a shame. Do not push yourself so hard, Minoru. What? What do you mean? It is plain to see your heart is not truly in this conversation. No way. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I thought so. He's been putting on an act. Minoru, you seem pretty down. <laughs> Guess I couldn't fool you, but you know, it's not just me, it's everyone. Everyone's in a bad mood after Ryo's disappearance yesterday. Wonder why? I guess Minoru is no exception. Why couldn't I do anything? Minoru? It's not like Ryo and I even got along all that well. He was kind of a loser, really. But I'm still not thrilled that he's gone. Minoru, calm down. And it sucks because I knew he was struggling. He had been since we came here. Why did I just keep ignoring him right up to the end? Yeah, I've been asking myself that too. And I didn't just ignore him. I kept teasing and insulting him, even though he was older. Ugh, I'm the worst. It wasn't your fault, Minoru. You shouldn't blame yourself so much. You don't have to try and comfort me. I know what I did was awful. I don't think I ever treated Ryo right. It's hard to believe Minoru could get this depressed. It's so different from usual. I guess in his own way, he's been thinking a lot about Ryo. Hakumon, I think we should give Minoru some space right now. I concur. Yes, I believe as long as Minoru can reflect on his actions in this way, his heart is in the right place. Well, I guess Falcomon... Oh, Takuma, perfect timing. Something wrong, Falcomon? It's about Kunmon. As you know, he was unable to communicate with you humans. Yeah, apparently he had a hard time communicating properly. If Kunmon had been more concerned with this, and if he had gotten through to Ryo... I believe things may not have turned out as they did. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And yet Kunmon tried his best in his own way. He thought to communicate using actions, not words. He did? Yes, Kunmon made a piece of equipment for Ryo. This is the result. Uh, what is it? Tell me truthfully, what do you think of this equipment? What do I think of it? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. So I'm sure Kumon worked very hard making this for real. I'm 
questions how he made it. I'd like to tell Falcomon he did a good job. Falcomon did ask for an honest opinion. Dude, I don't... I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Hmm. Then let us reserve judgment. There is one thing I can say, though. Oh, what is that? It reminds me of Kunmon. In that sense, I think it's well done. I see. In that case, I will leave this to you. Really? Are you sure? It was only a prototype, and I have no use for such a thing. I'd like you to have it. Anti-paralysis crystal. I'm sorry I troubled you with this, Takuma. Neat. Alright, so you guys got nothing else for me. I guess I just want to check on Lotmon. Is that Lotmon? Maybe I should say something to him. Yep. This is the only place I have my conversations. Lotmon, you by yourself? Where's Shuji? He gets mad when I'm around. He told me to get lost. Oh. Shuji seems like he's really struggling, doesn't he? If it were me, I wouldn't let him out of my sight. Really? But... But didn't you go off to the shrine on your own earlier? Yep! There was something I just had to find. I got so excited thinking about it, I took right off. But I made sure to tell Takuma I was going. You never told me where, though. I'm sorry. You two get along so well. Must be nice. Lamon seems really unhappy about his relationship with Shuji. I feel like if this keeps up, something bad is going to happen. I really wish they'd start getting along better soon. Ooh, I have one speech thing left. Alright. I can't talk to Shuji to tell him to be a better friend. Let's see. All right, good. There's nothing new for you two. I guess I can go to Florimon. Is that Florimon? What's she doing by herself? All right, last action. Hey, Florimon, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Takuma. Can you feel that? Uh, feel what? Over there! Hmm, isn't that where the shrine is? Yeah, I think so. I'm not really sure. But I think there's something over there. I can feel it. It's some sort of strange power. I wonder what it could be. I wouldn't know. Well, it's really bothering me. Are Florimon and the others sensing something us humans can't? Anyway, what brings you here, Takuma? Oh, well, Kaito asked me to get everyone together. He says if we're not all in the cafeteria by noon, he'll go look it for Miu by himself. So I'm sure everyone's still shaken up after what happened with Ryu and Kunmon, but yes, I see what you're saying. We should start looking for Miu. After all, I can understand how Kaito must feel. We can't just sit here and stew. I need to pull myself together too. Really? You seem like you're in pretty good shape to me. But I could be doing better. I need to be doing better, or I'm worried I won't be able to protect Saki. Saki's like that too. She may seem well put together, but sometimes I get very worried. You pay close attention. With you looking out for her, I'm sure she'll be fine. Really? Well, if that's what you think, Takuma, maybe things will be alright. Thanks for listening to me, Takuma. Don't mention it. Glad I could help out. Alright, see you later then, and it is now noon. <laughs> so I will see you now. Everyone's probably in the cafeteria by now. I should head back. I hope everyone's in the cafeteria. Alright, the twins didn't even tell them about this thing. Alright. Oh, good. You're all here. Well, how could we say no? You seem so desperate. You were one to talk. You were a bundle of nerves until just now. Hey! You promised not to mention that. Nora was probably upset before. Looks like he's in better shape now. Not to mention the others. 
Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Yeah, you really bounced back. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure it was because of you, Takuma. Haru and Mayuki, thanks for coming too. Sure, sure. So, about us going to rescue Miyu. Right, let me just start by saying something. I really didn't want to get you all involved in this, but... Thanks. Whoa, did you guys hear that? I think Kaito actually showed some appreciation just now. Minoru, no need to be sarcastic. That's right, Kaito was just being sincere. No need to make fun of him for that. Minoru can't take anything seriously, can he? What? Don't you get it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Listen, Kaito, you don't have any reason to feel like you're dragging us into this. Yeah, we all want to rescue Miu anyway. If anything, I think we owe you an apology. We all knew you were anxious to start looking for Miu. Sorry we took so long. No, it's cool. After what happened yesterday, I get it. Anyway, will you help me out? You bet. Hey, not so fast. Look, given the situation, I hate to bring this up, but are you serious about this? Shoji. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You know how dangerous it is out there. Remember the enemy monsters? The strange fog? What's to say Mio hasn't already wound up like Ryu? Shoji! How can you even say that? I, I'm just trying to look at this objectively. So you're saying Mew is objectively doomed? How dare you? Hey, no need for this to get violent. Don't forget, we've got little kids here. I'm scared. Scared. Sorry. But what you're saying is the one thing I will not accept. I, I have a responsibility for the lives of everyone here. I'm the leader, it's up to me to weigh the options and make the most prudent decision. Don't give me that. You're just looking for an excuse to cover for your own cowardice. Kaito, stop. That's enough. I am not a coward. Maybe a hothead like you can't see it. But as the oldest one here, I have a responsibility. Shuji, please. You should stop too. Shut up! <laughs> not another word from you. Shuji, please, try not to get so worked up. Kaito has his own responsibility. He's Miyu's older brother. That's why he's so desperate. I... I hadn't thought of that. Ha. As if a spineless creep like you could ever understand how I feel. I have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. So now you're calling me irresponsible? Oh, We're never going to get anywhere if this keeps up. I don't like it when everybody fights like this. Yeah, me neither. I know I should stop this argument before it goes on much longer, but how? Should I keep side with Kaito? Or switch Shuji's opinion? Or try to enlist help from somebody else? Oh, jeez. Uh, I mean guys any help hey, Minoru, say something what me all right uh what do you say we take a vote a vote i don't know people's lives are on the line here huh uh, just kidding Minoru. i mean i don't know what to say anyway uh why don't we split up then one group can search while the other stays here I don't like that. If we're going to look for Mew, we should all go. How are you against all my ideas? Why'd you even ask for my opinion then, Takuma? Sorry. Forget it. I know I asked for your help, but it's not worth all this trouble. So long. I'm out of here. Stop going off on your own. Out of my way. Shuji, Kaito, see, always whose help I really wanted. Shuji, Kaito, both of you, enough. What? Uh. Aoi? Wow, she sure shut them up. 
Yes, that was quite impressive. I didn't realize Aoi oh, could get so loud. What is the point of you two fighting like this? We're wasting time. Kaito, is fighting with Shuji going to help rescue Miu? Well, no, but... Shuji, you keep talking about how dangerous it is, but do you never intend to leave? I didn't say that. Obviously, we need to find Miu. But we also need to try and find a way home. At least, that's what I think. Huh? Why did Aoi get so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> she was really picking up steam there. And I guess she got self-conscious. Got nothing to be ashamed of, Aoi! That was incredible just now! Oh, uh, uh, um, sorry, I didn't mean to get so carried away. No, Aoi, you were right. I'm sorry. Me too. Sorry, I kinda lost it. Well, sounds like we're all agreed. We're going to rescue Miu. Uh, Minoru, who gave you the final say? What? Somebody had to say it, right? So, where do we go? Remember that carnival thing, please? I think yesterday we decided to check the amusement park. Right. According to that Tenemon guy, Jamiu got away from Aru Kenimon. That's where she was headed. Tentomon was the one who said it was the shiny place, right? The shiny place? It sounds lovely. Florimon, you were there, weren't you? But are we sure that's where she went? Not a doubt in my mind. She's always loved amusement parks. So if she suddenly realized one was here, she'd head straight for it. And there was that giant ring in the shiny place. It looked really cool. Besides, everybody knows how kids are crazy about amusement parks. I bet you both like them too, right, Haru? Miyuki? Oh, Haru. I was like, who's, who's this? Don't know. Don't know. What? You've got to be kidding me. They don't know? Does that mean they've never been to an amusement park? <laughs> Sounds like she's probably at the amusement park. We better get going. Bye everyone. Good luck. Oh, no, I don't think so. You're both coming with us. Again? Why? Because we can't just leave you on your own, knowing there are monsters kidnapping children. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, no objections from me. Me either. Oh, okay. Okay. But do we know the way to the amusement park? We saw it from the radio tower yesterday. Funny it won't be a problem. I'm pretty sure there's a path through the forest that leads in that direction. Right. So we just gotta get through the forest. I'll take point. You guys stay close. <sighs> What's he sighing about? Actually, that reminds me. He was acting kind of weird yesterday. Hey, Haru? What? About yesterday, uh, what happened exactly? Miyuki is always kind of strange, but sometimes Haru just seems off. Like he'll suddenly say something mature, or act like he's seen through things. I'm not really sure. Sorry. Okay, sorry if I bothered you. Is he not aware of it himself? Hey, Takuma, Haru, Miyuki, hurry up or you'll get left behind. Oh, yeah, wait up. Come on, you two. We need to hurry. Miyuki, let's go. Go. Made it to the forest. Great. Oh, 
Alright. I'm gonna actually end this here because it's been going for a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm assuming in the next episode we'll be at the amusement park, so come back if you want to see that. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!